So this is a remake of a depth stop in miniature. Uh, this is one that was given as a favor at the Pacific Northwest Tool Collectors uh, meeting almost three years ago now. Uh, and it's been a fun one. I, I use this quite a bit, but I like one that's a little bit bigger than this. Uh, it's a tool that I use more and more the more I play with it. So we're going to, rather than make it out of this, we're going to make it out of this. Make it a little bigger. Let's have some fun. Yeah, that looks better. You're too much more. There it comes. Ooh. Wasn't ready for that one. There we go. A little bit tight. Let's fix that. Nice, nice. Yeah, it will hold.
So there you have it. This was a fun one. Now I, I've had this little depth stop that I got from the Pacific Northwest Tool Collectors probably about three years ago. And I, I use this all the time, but sometimes I wish it were a little bit bigger. Uh, it's one of those tools that you don't think you would need. It's so simple. It's just a rod that goes through a block that why do that? But once you've used it a few times, you find that you use it all the time. It is an incredibly useful tool. But I wanted one that was a little bigger, and so this was a chance to experiment. Now, I made this far more fancy than it needs to be. It's just a block that has a rod going through it that you can tell how far down you, you cut. And this one is, well, it's far more fancy than it needs to be. Um, you can see the rod is very tight, and this allows you to get a very accurate setting on there, and then you can lock it down. And now that rod uh, will not move. You can actually put a lot of force into this and, and keep it right where you want it to be. And so this will tell you exactly how deep your hole needs to be um, or how deep the groove is. So if you're freehanding it without a router plane, you can check it with this and see where you need to do a little more work. An incredibly useful, useful tool, and I am looking forward to using it a lot more. So now, when this one's too late, we've got this one. So maybe sometime I should make a, a jumbo one. <laughs> So this is a uh, good project to learn new things, and I'd love to see what you do with it. Um, being able to drill all the way through straight and, and uh, online is a, a great talent to work at. It's one of those things you just have to do it in order to gain the skill. So get out in the shop, try something new, make a cool tool, and uh, have a little bit of fun with it. So if you like that, uh, please do hit the like button. That really does help out the channel. The algorithm is a big part of what makes this channel happen. But on top of that, I do want to say a huge thank you to all the patrons on Patreon, members here on the channel, and everyone who's clicked that join button. 
thank you. You really are the ones who keep this channel going. Yes, the algorithm is important. It helps make the channel happen. But without you as supporting this channel, we would not be here. So thank you for that. If you'd like to find out more about that, there's a link to Patreon down below, or you can click the little join button down there. And I think that'll about do it for now. Until next time, have a wonderful day. This is the point in the video where I usually try to tell a joke. But in this case, as you can see, it's not very deep. This is the point in the video where I usually try to tell a joke. I try to tell a video. <laughs>